Hello everyone. Uh, good morning or good afternoon, depending on when uh, on where you are. My name is Eddie Marcus Irambona. Uh, I'm going to be with you in some few minutes and share with you the word of God uh, in Second Corinthians chapter five from verse seventeen to twenty-one. Uh, I'm going to remind you that Christ has forgiven you all your sins all your trespasses are forgiven so what we have to do is to believe what god did not only to see what uh not only to focus on what we see in our everyday life but to focus on what is made and what is recognized by god as a truth uh yeah let's start reading on verse 17 therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. That's what happened when we believed in Christ. If you are in Christ, all things, all things are passed away. All things are become new. There are people who think that we are forgiven our past sins. For example, let's say today on 6th June, uh, is the day you you believe in Christ is the, is the day you 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 believe that Christ died for your sins and they say that yes that's true your your sins are forgiven until the 6th June 2021 and then after after 6th you have to fight for yourself you have to uh, do all possible things it's like it's like yes god is giving you a guarantee of the past things until you know him so when you, you you come to know him you have to fight for yourself you have to to fight all the battles the ball is on your side no that's not true god did it for the for your past sins and also for your future sins because when when even when even christ died we were not yet born so it means that that's true he forgave us all our sins, past, present, and future. That's a reality that everyone has to know. What would be good in that if if you you only you only have uh, a guarantee on on the past and not on the future, and yet we are going into the future. So you you would be you would be living in in um, in unstoppable fear, in unstoppable fear, and you know that fear brings out more sins and more sins as you continue to focus on not committing sins you end up committing more sins and more sins again so on verse 18 uh, on verse 18 and all things are of god who hath reconciled us to himself by jesus christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation you see on on the god's side he did all things he reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, by Jesus Christ dying on the cross for our sins, bearing our sins, and hath given us the ministry of reconciliation. He has given us who have come to know this reality, who have come to know this truth. He has given us the ministry of reconciliation so that we can go and tell others what happened. Tell others, you don't have to mourn, you don't have to fight, you don't have to worry, you don't have to... To, to despair and say, I have to do nothing, I've tried my best, nothing is going on. So you have to, uh, we, we are telling them, as I'm telling you today, God has reconciled himself with you. He has nothing against you. He has forgiven you in Christ. So on verse 19, to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing the trespasses unto them, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. That's what God did. He was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing the trespasses unto them. He, he, he never imputed our trespasses unto us but he put our trespasses on christ so that he can die on the cross as a punishment for our sins and then he made peace with us and him on verse 20 now then 
as a conclusion, now then we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. So, as Paul is saying here, he is telling people that we are now ambassadors for Christ, telling people to be reconciled to God, telling people to not worry, telling people to not think that the end is already done, that they, they can't do anything, that they, there is no way to reverse the situation. No, there is a way. Someone, Christ on the cross, reversed the situation when he took your sins on him and died for your sins so that you can have eternal life, so that you can live peacefully, knowing that God is on your side, knowing that God is not counting your sins, knowing that God is not waiting for punishing you, knowing that all things have been cleared out, all things have been made new, all things have been made perfect so that God may see you and be pleased with you. On the verse 21 that I'm going to end with, for he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. That's what Christ did. There is a transfer or there is an exchange. On the cross, as the Bible says, Christ took all our sins. There is a transfer. He took all our sins and we took his righteousness. That's the reason why when we say that we are right in Christ, when, that, when we say that we are righteous as God wants, we are not mentioning that we, we are perfect in our everyday life. No, that's not what we are saying. What we are saying is that Christ took our sins away and he brought to us, he gave to us his righteousness. When God sees you, he does not see your sins performances. He does not see the list of the sins that you've, you've done since you were born. No, if you are in Christ, he sees the perfect righteousness that God requires. That's what we are. That's why we say we can boldly and openly say that we are righteous. We are righteous because Christ is righteous. We are righteous at the same level as Christ is righteous. So by ending this short video, I'm telling you and I'm reminding you, I'm telling to your mind to not even think of the old things, but to focus on the new man that you are in Christ. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Continue to meditate on this. Don't, don't never allow the devil to, to disturb you, to, 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 to bring uh, other things in your mind, telling you that you are not forgiven, telling you that Christ did not, uh, have, has not done all possible things for you to be a new creature, a new creature, to be a new man that God loves, a new man that God uh, is pleased to be with. All things is done. All is done. All is forgiven. All is new. Enjoy your life in Christ. Continue reading the Bible. Continue meditating on the words of God. And continue meditating being in Christ as a new man, as a forgiven man, as a righteous, as God wants. Thank you.